guys and welcome back to budget review who god knows what number <laughs> i don't know i can't remember it's on the thumbnail but uh yeah so for those of you who are new to my budget reviews i picked the hemlock and oak 2023 daily planner um for my budget planner for this year and i say this every time but uh yeah guys i really mean to clean this thing before i put it on camera but um i always forget and uh so he is a little dirty he's a little well used um main like i mainly do my budgeting uh in the morning with coffee so yeah we do have coffee hands we got dirt and grime on this thing uh, that's probably a coffee spot right there and um but i mean hey guys he's well loved he's well built i love this thing this is definitely my go-to planner for my budget and again for those of you who uh you know if this is your first time seeing this planner and you want a full undirtied unused uh flip through of it go ahead and check out my original video up there and uh, other than that, let's move on with uh, this week's budget review. Uh, we got some goods and we got some bads. <laughs> Again, it's summertime. So, oh my god, this is the first time I've ever noticed this. <laughs> they even give you a little contents page that tells you where to find the months. I love this planner, guys. So, uh, why it took me that long? I mean, my eyes always over here. So, um, yeah, uh, just took me uh, six months to see that. So, let's let's get centered here. Okay. So, what they originally give you is this uh, two years at a glance page. I just used this as my projected payoff um reminders kind of like a light at the end of the tunnel of like hey this nightmare will soon end you just need to keep going so uh yeah that's how i'm using <laughs> i have sarcasm guys i do but uh you need it you need it to get through something like this so uh no i've just um it's did my projected payoffs uh this is what i got from using the stebit app so those are the payoff dates that i used um i'm a visual person so i also needed to make it to where like i needed to track uh how long it took me to pay these things off uh why that's important i don't know but i just know that it makes me want to pay them off so i could color in the weeks right so <laughs> it's early morning too guys so bear with me um summer shifts are going strong now but uh no like you can see that i've um i've made some really good progress for the year i really wouldn't have guessed that i would have made it this far in my debt payoff journey back in january so i mean i am pretty dang proud about uh how far we've made it here so we paid off walmart we paid off kohl's we paid off best buy we've paid off capital platinum which oh god it about killed me but hey you know we made it through that hurdle uh went back to an easy one with gazelle uh city i didn't really think i was going to get paid off on the last day but hey i got it paid off a month ahead and now we're on big bad boy discover which is why he has his own detris <laughs> i want to fill in this detris so freaking fast and get it done with but um my wallet doesn't allow me so we are which i have no idea why i painted or yeah painted colored this in orange guys i don't know it's been driving me nuts ever since but uh that's what we're rocking with so <laughs> If you could tell, I'm a little bit more antsy this week, but again, we're in those grueling summer shifts where I go from night shift to day shift and have less sleep and there's no naps with the cat and I'm stuck at home with the boy all times that I'm not at work. I don't even know how else to say it. It's like, I just want my me time. So... <laughs> So we do have um, uh, Detris going on here, and 
If you watched last week's review, you would know that I was supposed to do the standard payment. Uh, there should be some orange on this thing. Uh, he kind of got pushed back like a week. Um, I'm going to explain that all here later on. And yes, I am being a little bit more quieter than I normally am. Uh, just because baby boy Ray is still sleeping and we don't want to wake the beast. Uh, baby boy Ray is 21, but still guys, it's kind of like a newborn in infant, you know, you don't wake it up. You don't want to hear it. So, we're going to stay quiet. Okay, so... After the whole two years at a glance, Hemlock and Oak gives you this beautiful one year at a glance dashboard type thing. Uh, I really had no idea what to do with this page. So um, I kind of made it like a dashboard for like what's going on in the year with the budget as a whole. Um, kind of like, where's our holidays? Uh, do we have birthdays? I should probably pay the taxes. Um... I don't know, those pesky vehicle expenses, okay? Which I'm actually really glad I wrote this down because I probably would have forgot. Uh, of course, the most important day out of the year is Bill's birthday. Bill is my dad. Um, you don't miss that. <laughs> uh, large amounts of money coming in and out. That would be the insurance funds. And... I think that's about it, other than tracking my credit score, which was kind of something that I, like, added after I started doing this. Um, just because I was kind of curious to see, like, how paying these off in a steady way would affect the score. And, I mean, he, he is kind of climbing, guys, okay? Like, I, I do kind of have... Okay, we're going to go with this one, but it would have went up 10 points. So, 10 points in four months doesn't seem like a whole lot, but... At the same time, I mean, at least the thing is moving up. So, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> of course, they give you a whole nother holidays thing of like a friendly reminder of how people are going to ask you for money. Um, that's pretty much what that means. And <laughs> I promise you, I'm not, I'm not this cranky during the whole year, okay? Just the summer. <laughs> So, uh, you know, you get to this important page, and I figured, okay, with a budget journal, um, like, the balances, the balances, the total amount that, that you, like, owe is probably the most important thing. Um, so, uh, with a lot of tears and sweat, um, I went through, uh, figured out what the total balances were, uh, December 31st, and, um... Uh, listed them in the proper order. Yes, Discover, um, like you, CapQ should definitely be before Discover, as many of these. But see, this guy is a uh, zero percent promotion. Um, he has to be paid off by December, or I'm gonna owe interest on the original amount that I transferred over to this card. Um, <laughs> I don't want to do that. So yeah, Discover needs to be taken care of before December. <laughs> <laughs> Sally wants a Christmas present. Okay, she doesn't want the Christmas present taken away. So, uh, that's why Discover is above all of these. If not, I would be paying off a lot more uh, this year. But, um, yeah, this guy's got to go. So, uh, to make this page more fun, less gloomy, I started tracking how much in total I pay off towards the debts each month just because it made Detris, the original Detris, um, more fun, okay? It made it more easier to, in, instead of like taking each of my balances, because some of my balances are only like 25 a month, because I am doing the minimums on these things, um, just so that I can knock these off, right? And, <laughs> which looking back at it, it still makes me laugh, like why? Why was this one so hard to pay off? Like, it... I don't know. I was a noob. So, <laughs> it shouldn't have been that difficult to pay off. But it was. So, uh, yeah, no. So, I total up what I pay each month towards these debts. And then we do debtress. Um, that way, I'm not trying to figure out how many, you know, like, getting four of the 25s and... Yeah, no, that's a headache. I don't want a headache. I want this to be smooth sailing. So, 
that the whole reason for the whole paying off for a month and yes I have no idea guys like I, I started off kicking butt January was like heck yeah and February was a woo and uh March was close but then I broke myself in March and um yeah we've been oh. so hopefully June's better uh, I'm really shooting for a 900 for June after this week I don't know but um hey we're gonna try right we're gonna try so that gets us to the monthly layout <laughs> and yeah I kind of just keep doing the same thing guys um in one way it feels repetitive but at another way it does really help you not miss those freaking payments because the last thing we want to do is miss a payment I never checked this thing off okay I know this went through and this went through okay now uh yeah, I put the bills on the dates of their due dates for the month so that I can, like, look at each of my paydays here and say, okay, I get paid on this day. All of these bills here need to be paid off before this guy because, you know, this is when I got the monies. And uh, these are the scary weeks because that's when the funds get low. Um, definitely this is, like, tornado week here uh, for my budget. And um, so... I gotta make sure I have enough funds to cover all of this, plus I need uh, enough to trickle down to pay these guys here. Uh, same rules apply up here, so I get paid on this one. This one, as you can see, is not a beatdown like this week. So, in one way, I'm like, oh man, Sally's got money. No, Sally don't have money. No, Sally needs to cover these things, which I... <laughs> I know in comparison they don't look like anything like what this is but um yeah like it, in one way you could kind of get fooled into thinking like you have extra money to spend but you don't uh because we still gotta take care of this <laughs> oh lord it's early guys and uh yeah so um, i do all that and, of course, I have my monthly goals, so my daily savings, which is the $5 a day. Um, I used to do it every day. Now I just take it out every every other paycheck or every paycheck. Uh, I don't know. Um, either way, it's $5 a day. There's 30 days, so it's 150 I just split it into two. And, uh, thankfully, he's done. He's safe. Monies are where they're supposed to be. Um, funny, funny thing is, uh, at the end of the year, just by saving $5 a day, you got over $1,800. Um, it's the fastest way and the easiest way that I've had to where I could save money without breaking the bank. So, that's a fun little budget trick there. Um, I do have the no cards challenge. Uh, January and February, again, I will show you guys, I kicked butt. Okay, January awesome february awesome you would think it would get easier as you're paying these things off but um i i got a little too bold in march and um yeah uh it, it you know what hit the fan and uh i was like okay all right okay i know what's happening um no i still needed to recuperate from april and that apparently was enough days for me to um, break the whole don't use, you know, don't use the credit cards. Um, I mean, to me, any day without using them is better than no days. So, uh, <laughs> it's still better than last year, okay? See, I'm comparing myself to last year. Did I use it every day last year and did I pay it off any of those days? No. But that's how... Um, you know, we're in this situation. So any day that I do cover it or I don't use it and don't even pull it out of the wallet is a victory to me. Tiny victories, guys. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we got that going on. Of course, I got the tan for the summer package. Um, it is kind of like a splurge, but at the same time, it helps keep me sane, keeps me happy. So, yes, I... To me, that 60 some dollars is worth it, and it only runs um, May, June, July, and August, so yeah, uh, we need that during the summer. I don't get to see the sun. I know a lot of people are like, why do you go tanning during the summer? Um, because I wake up at 1 a.m., and I go to bed at 6 p.m., In those hours that I am awake, I'm at work. I'm in a building, okay? Um, I don't see the sun. <laughs> 
<laughs> like a vampire. <laughs> so, um, uh, of course, uh, I said, you know, in the beginning, I really didn't think I was going to pay off City in May. Um, I did, so I didn't have to worry about that. And, of course, we moved on to Discover, which I do have my $50 that I do every Sunday. I forced myself this Sunday. You're going to, you know, see why. But, um, like I said, uh, the original Discover payment, like his actual payment, was due on the 22nd. Um, this, this was kind of like a mess. And I saw this guy free floating. Ugh, should I at least probably put 50 on it? Yeah. Would I have had 50? Probably not. So, uh, the closer we get to this day here, I'm going to know more of what can happen with this. But the 100 for sure is going on the 30th. And uh, since I do continuously pay on this thing, because it is a card that is in use, um, there is no minimum due date, which is nice. Because um, I don't... You know, I'm not concerned about it not being paid on that day because technically he's been paid like three times over uh, during this part of the month. So uh, moving it to this day uh, does nothing to, um, you know, the due date because technically there really isn't one. Uh, so, yeah, I just marked that, changed that, and <laughs> let's, let's get into the nitty gritty. I try to keep these as short as possible. I know I talk a lot, but, um, really guys, the, the whole budget review, the whole discussing this, sharing this, um, I think it's really the reason why I've kept up with it. <laughs> Cause I'm going to have to say this is the best I've ever done with my budget <laughs> and, uh, all the years that I've been trying to do this. <laughs> so I left Jens off last week, uh, on Father's Day here and, um, I can't remember if I did the extra payments or not. I think I did. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, again, I'm at home with uh, my adult son. And um, he's messy, guys. He is so messy. Like, he, uh, I can tell you things that you would just be like, what? <laughs> it's like a Tasmanian devil. But we came up with an agreement... I want to say back in April because that's whenever I really couldn't take it no more. But um, basically, he makes a mess. Uh, I clean it up. But since um, we're no longer a dependent, um, they are cleaning fees now. <laughs> I mean, if it was just like one dish, two dish here and there, um, guys, I would just be a mother and, uh, you know, do it. But, um, yeah, these are bad. So... <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, it, I call it, uh, it, it's my side gig, it's uh, just like mom's, uh, you know, when just, just like when mom used to do it for free, but she doesn't no more, um, so yeah, um, apparently the summer hits him too, and uh, yeah, we made a, a, a nice bed uh, last Sunday, so that's how I took care of one of the extra additional payments there, and... Yeah, I think that was even, those are the gray blocks, which I wish I had more gray blocks, but, um, where you at? Yeah, right there, see? Grays are gray. <laughs> so, <laughs> I really wish I could put more on here, but, um, that's, that's what I got so far, so, again, any, anything is better than nothing. Um, okay, so, yeah, see, we got two extra payments to discover, so not that bad. Uh, of course, we had, um, oh, I took him to John and Evil. So, yeah, I didn't, I didn't do grocery shopping. I didn't need anything. I skipped. Um, Monday, of course, is going back to work. And, um, yeah, I almost forgot that I had my Michaels rewards. Uh, granted, they were only $5, but, um, still, guys, I don't want to lose to $5. So, on my break, I went to Michaels and went to tanning, you know, two great things. And, um... I was originally going in to get some mild liners because, you know, my, my red's getting a little streaky, right? <laughs> I'm going to be using a lot of it for July. So, uh, yeah, that was the original plan. And I came out with Galaxy Glues, which I don't think they're in the room with me or I would bring them out. Uh, they're really cool looking. Um, 
they're like tinted Elmer's glue. One's red and one's blue. But the red one kind of has like gold glitter mixed in with it. And the blue one has like a silver uh, holographic glitter mixed in it. Uh, they look really freaking cool. What I'm going to do with these things, I have no idea. But... I mean, hey, they were on clearance. I got both of them, and I really only had to pay 42 cents uh, with my change. So, <coughs> I don't know. Really cool addition to my craft room <laughs> for uh, basically free. God, I'm shedding. That's either me or Bert. So, let's see. Here we got Tuesday. Um, Tuesday was a very weird day. Uh, normally, uh, Monday through Thursday, I don't think about the budget at all. Uh, it's not nowhere near on the Richter scale. Shedding again. And, um, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't go to sleep until I looked at the budget book. It was like something was like, look at your budget. And I was like, no, I don't want to. I just want to go to bed. But I did. I finally sucked it up and got up and opened up the book. And, uh, <laughs> I call it my Bible. <laughs> so, brought out the Bible book. And, uh, yeah, uh, I'm glad that I did. Uh, because today was the day, uh, that PSECU, my car loan, was due. Um, I granted, okay, it's not due until the 22nd. I did this because I have to transfer funds from my other bank account onto this so that I could pay the loan. And there is like a two to three day grace. Um, yeah. <laughs> the funds aren't there, guys. <laughs> I did transfer it, but they haven't moved over yet. So I'm like, oh crap. So of course I put that friendly reminder on the phone, you know, because again, like I told you, like Monday through Thursday, I'm not thinking about this budget. So, um, you know, I had to put it on the phone of like, hey, ooh, open up your book, pay PSECU, open up your book, pay PSECU, you know, okay, so I had it on until the freaking due date of this thing, and, um, you know, so I was like, oh, crap, but you know what, hey, still safe, and, um, I completely forgot about a BS order that I had earlier this month, so, uh, I just took care of that, uh, it's due July 1st, so again, that was another, whoo, thank God I looked at this, um, so, yeah, he's done, um, another thing I did, which was really weird, and I think it's funny because, like, late at night, it's like 8 p.m., where I'm like, oh, God, you know, but, um, yeah, Bert's running low on food, too, so I took advantage of the 35% off from PetSmart and got him his foods. I already marked off no cards for the day, because, again, guys, remember I was going to bed, um, but, yeah, I did use the card, hence the dot, but I already have it marked to where this thing gets paid off on, uh, next Friday, which is payday anyways, so, um, technically, he's, he's covered, um, Okay, so then we move into Wednesday, and uh, I I'm starting to panic, okay? Because, again, I look on there. Uh, this should have been transferred over. It it should be there. Um, it It's not. <laughs> Patiently waiting. <laughs> so it was like, okay, all right, you know, Thursday's the next day. Uh, the good news is it's like I'm not spending during the day, so that's nice. That makes it easy not to use the cards. And, uh, well, guys, we get to, we get to Thursday, right? <laughs> uh, I said it, um, at the beginning of June, um, and apparently this is how long it took. It took three weeks. Um, the whole switching from the night shift to the day shift thing, uh, does things to you mentally. Uh, again, I'm used to having a nice and quiet time in the morning to relax, to focus, to reflect. I no longer have that. Um, it's like anger and aggression 100% of the day. <laughs> I'm like a, I'm like a cat where you're trying to put me in the bathtub, okay? Like, that's, that's how our days are. <laughs> and, um, well, it started off with the morning. Uh, again, I'm trying to do this at like two in the freaking morning, and um, yeah, the utilities just seemed like they were just, it wasn't like high, 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 but it was just enough 
to where I'm looking at this. Of course, you know, the day before when I couldn't sleep, I noticed like, hey, you still got these other bills coming up, which doesn't seem like a lot, but I need to make sure I could cover those. So that's when I decided like, okay, discover, um, there is no minimum due date. I'm just going to safely move you to the 30th. And that way, technically, it's still getting paid for June. But, yeah, you know, I really don't like to do this, but it's necessary. But it doesn't really affect anything. Um, yes, I did remember it's triple star day at Starbucks, of course, because, you know, that's important. And uh, so I did hit that. Um, uh, I guess what I forgot, you know, I would have rather forgotten triple star day and remembered this. But, um... By the time I came home, uh, I was beat. I think I maybe went to bed at like 5.30. Um, <laughs> Sally never checked PSDCU while at work or when she came home. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming the funds came in somewhere in this time, you know, when banks are in operation. But since I was checking my budget at like 2 in the morning... Uh, before it would have went through and since Sally went to bed at 5 30 and never looked at it uh, Sally missed this <laughs> yes <laughs> so uh, my first uh, day off for the weekend where I'm supposed to be relaxing and recharging um, was a crunch <laughs> So, yes, uh, the funds did appear sometime during this day. Uh, I did put it on the loan, but it is shown in red, like, you're late. Um, I've never been late with a bank's loan. Uh, so I'm kind of, kind of hoping it's not bad. I have no idea what's going to happen next month. Um, yeah, <laughs> but it's paid, right? It's paid. <laughs> So, again, you can see uh, the summer mind here. Uh, this is my math during the summer. So, um, instead of whiting it out and writing over it, I just crossed it out and wrote it up here. Uh, just to give myself, like, a friendly reminder of that I'm not sucking with my budget. <laughs> it's just my mind is jelly during the summer, okay? So, i um, trying to give myself some grace here. Um, of course, I got the, you know, American net that was covered, that was covered, like, the Tuesday. Um, I almost forgot, I need these as well. Um, this is not, like, something of, like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna get that because, you know, uh, I think it's gonna work. Um, these things are kind of necessary. Uh, I can't take the regular thyroid pills. I'm allergic to them. <laughs> <laughs> they put me into toxicosis. Uh, that was last year. Um, but if I don't take these, and this is not like deactivated you, like morning drink, uh, sorry, uh, that it sucks. It's not worth it. Plus, um, I learned I can't have plants. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a no-no. Um, this is like a thyroid pill that they do have. And like I turn to crap if I don't have this thing. So um, yeah, I almost forgot that I needed to restock it. Which thankfully I still have one more jar. Um, is it expensive as all hell? Uh, yes. Um, but it, it is one of those things that's necessary. So <laughs> quickly quickly put that in as I opened up my last jar and of course I had to take uh, Ray to the post office for his package that he's been tracking for like a week now because again we're on these shifts and um they won't drop nothing off unless you're home and uh we're not home <laughs> so I had to go track that down but other than that calm day uh scary morning <laughs> And that gets us to yesterday. Um, this is just me venting about the living expenses. Uh, normally, which I don't know if it's just because my mornings are so calm. And then like at night, like, yeah, I'll go to like McDonald's or Burger King. And that's pretty much my groceries. Um, I, don't ask me how I do it. I know everybody else spends like $10, $15 when they go. 
I'm just really thrifty with the apps and the deals and the rewards. Um, $2.11 every time I go to Burger King. Uh, $3.49? It's been a while, but I want to say $3.49 every time I go to McDonald's. So, like, literally, guys, like, my eating expenses would have been, like, $15, $20 uh, during the work week. And then maybe another $20... <laughs> For like milk and coffee on the weekends um yeah uh, i really lived off of mcdonald's and burger king which was amazing um <laughs> yeah i have to buy groceries now so this whole like high price of gas and groceries is uh well i'm starting to experience it for the summer and all i got to say is holy cow guys like if you're doing your budgeting and you're budgeting for your families, like I'm literally just budgeting for myself, um, how are you doing it? Because <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> so, yeah, like I was originally uh, lucky, uh, maybe $50 in gas, okay? Which I, I know, I know, I, I know some of you are like, oh, no, no. Uh, because I would make, like, Ray buys his own groceries, and he uses my card, so I would get the free cast, uh, from John Eagle. <laughs> so, yeah, Ray was buying my gas, basically, with his groceries. Um, like, I'd, like, it, it's only 28, because, again, I used, like, 25 of it. God, I'm shedding. And, uh... <laughs> So, yeah, I did use $25 worth of free gas already this month, but still, like, for me to even spend uh, $28 is kind of weird, and I still got another week. Um, groceries is the one where I'm just like, holy cow, because I, I don't think I'm going to buy more. I, I want to say Friday is the last day of June, so this should be my total for groceries for the month, but, I mean, guys, that's high. That is so so freaking high for me because i mean i'm lucky if i would get because i used to total up like the restaurants and stuff but like even for groceries alone on the weekend uh let's round high so we would have three six nine twelve maybe 120 so maybe i would hit 150 a month in groceries i'm already past 221 um that's i mean like wow and i'm not even getting anything outrageous so, that that was my whole beef yesterday, <laughs> which uh, gets us to today. See, I slept in. I didn't wake up until 5. Actually, I woke up at 4. I played a game, but yeah, I didn't really do anything until 5, so that's nice. And uh, yeah, so I did force myself to do that final last Discover Extra payment because um, I don't want to get too behind on it. But, like, you can see, like, I'm already at 120, um, just, just, you know, because it's morning time, bear with me here. So, let's say that's 100 and minus 50, so that's really only leaving me with 50. Now we could add the 20 back on, so 70. <laughs> I still have Bird's Insurance, that's 20, so that's going to take me down to 150. Thank God that's a zero. Um, and then we got Netflix and Hulu, so that's another 50, so that's 130. Um, right? Hold on. Okay. 150. No, no. See, this, this is Sally's math in the summer, guys. It's scary. Okay, so 100 minus 50 is 50. Plus 20 is 70. 70 minus 20 is 50. Minus 20 is 30. So that's $30, guys. See the big difference? $30 to get me through <laughs> until this day. And then it's just a beat down again, right? So, yeah, we're squeezing it uh, for this next week. So I pretty much know it's not going to be a no card week. I'm going to try as I might. Uh, probably shouldn't have got the slushy, but man, I really needed that slushy. I did. <laughs> but um, yeah. So that's what I'm looking forward to next week. Uh, gonna try my best again. Uh, no crazy shopping trips, no crazy shopping orders. Uh, we're just gonna make this work. And 
yeah, so I think that's a good place to end with this week's budget review. Um, I do want to close out by saying thank you so much for watching, guys. I do greatly appreciate it, and I really do enjoy uh, reviewing my budget and my victories, achievements, and, of course, the, uh, the mistakes. I think the mistakes are the best part. And, uh, yeah, so thank you again so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And please remember to hit that like and subscribe button to see more budget reviews.